Well, good morning from Isan of all places. How the hell did I end up here? It's kind of a funny story. There's a lot of dogs here, and there's two of them that really aren't sure about me. The rest are all really chill, but these... <laughs> so, welcome to Surin. So, the other night after I finished my live stream with Dan, I went out to go meet a friend, and we went out to go have some more drinks, and I was already pretty toasty from the live stream with Dan before I went out. Anyway, I met my friends, we were out drinking and having a good time, and back at my place, I don't know how it came up, but my friend suggested, like, she, she's from here, this is her family home and she said like Let, let's go to Isan sometime and I was like yeah cool when and apparently we went in the morning <laughs> so I think it was like five o'clock in the morning or something when, when we're organizing all this completely drunk I've booked tickets we jumped on a plane and came out here I hadn't slept like I slept a little bit in the taxi and then a little bit the flight's only an hour so I slept a little bit in the plane and then a little bit in the car to get here. And I was a wreck when I arrived here yesterday. And so was she, we pretty much just like got here and crashed out. So feeling much better today. And I guess I'm spending some time in Nissan. So this is a look at their beautiful home, which doubles as a dog retreat, it seems, but it's so nice here. I've never actually been inside like one of these like big Thai houses before. It's huge, it goes all the way back, but it's beautiful inside. It's beautiful here. And I'm, I'm really keen to check this place out and spend a bit of time here. I got in last night, we sort of met the family, had something to eat, whole like family was here chilling out, there must have been gah, probably about 10, 15 people here, all just sort of hanging out, it was, it was a really nice experience, I've never actually done something like that. We just hung out outside here, had something to eat, had a couple of beers and relaxed and then I crashed out early, so feeling, feeling really good today, it's all good. Gah, it's beautiful here. <laughs> So now, now we're, oh my god. <laughs> now we're gonna do some exploring on this weird little bike thing. I sit here. My turn to drive. Yay! <laughs> So they're currently, they're pumping the water out of this little dam here. There's a, a pump here. Ah. And they're catching, they're catching all fish. There was a turtle, there's all sorts of different animals in here. There's a couple of snakes that we've seen. So they're like, come down here, come down here. I am way too much of a city boy to be playing with snakes. So cool, I'm having the most amazing time. So to think like yesterday I was in Bangkok, I had absolutely no plans of 
doing this and coming out here but you know spending time in these little like villages and, and doing stuff like this this is something I really want to do more of back when I was doing the road trips with Cynthia we went through a few places in Islam but we we're always moving so fast and never got to spend a whole lot of time in one place and like I'm having the best time just sitting here watching them all doing the fishing they catch snails and they've caught so many fish it's amazing I'm just I'm having the best time I'm so glad I did this Yeah, they're still not sure about me. God, it's so beautiful here. I love, like I'm a city boy, I love the city, but I love coming to the countryside and getting away. I just feel like oh, it's totally unwound. So just stopped at a little spot, just, just near the house to grab some lunch. It's really cute here. These guys are still working really hard. It's now, it's four o'clock in the afternoon. They've been going all day. I mean, they stopped for lunch, but basically they, they extract all the water. They've got these water holes around the place and they pump all the water out of it into the other areas and grab all the fish and snails and anything that they can, they can use, cook and sell. And you know, it's, a, it's amazing to see what they're doing to catch all these fish. And they just catch them all by hand. You would have seen before. It's fascinating to see. And they pump the water over here and the water will just sort of naturally run back and the, the fish that are there, they keep breeding and, and the process continues. are taking me somewhere I don't know where we're going but now I feel like I'm really in in the countryside in a little village now it's so beautiful just come around to this beautiful cafe called 361 you can see behind me here and it's so nice here when you live in Bangkok and you come to somewhere like this like the contrast is so amazing beautiful
man, this has just been the most amazing experience. So it's now the following day and I'm editing this video and I'm just watching it all back. I've just been smiling the entire time. And it's, you know, not because I'm here in Isan, but more the way her family is just like totally welcomed me in. They're so warm and friendly. They've just been so incredible. We, we went out to the cafe you would have seen and then we came back here and all just like sat around and had dinner together. And then we had some drinks and we were playing games and... There was a whole bunch of us just sitting outside and it was just the most amazing experience. I'm just so glad we've done this and her family, they've been amazing. This is an experience I won't forget. <laughs>